Well, hi everybody. The other day I came across this really cool video of somebody adding bubbles to their resin. And I know usually we want to take away bubbles from our resin, but this was a really cool effect. And they used Dawn dish soap and uh, foamed it up and added the bubbles to their resin. So I'm going to try to do that today. And we start with our UV resin. This is just Let's Resin UV Resin. And I'm going to fill my molds about half full of UV resin. Okay, some of them are more like two thirds full, but that is totally fine. Now, we want to actually, believe it or not, get the bubbles out of the resin because we don't want the micro bubbles. We want to add specific bubbles. And I still don't have a lighter, so I'm going to use my kitchen torch to do this. And I have to be really careful not to melt my mold. Okay, so now I have this Tupperware container with, I don't know, maybe three quarters of a cup of water and about three tablespoons of Dawn dish soap. And I have this little baby whisk, it's so cute. And I'm just gonna whisk this up until I get a good froth going on top. And if you don't have a little whisk, just anything that you can froth this up with, a fork or whatever. Okay, now I've really had to work this to get this much froth in there, but that's how much you want. You want it at least a half an inch off the water. Because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, let me adjust the angle. Because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up some of these bubbles in our spoon, and we don't want any water, we just want the bubbles and we're gonna drop it down onto the resin, being careful not to touch the resin with the spoon. Well, that was a lot on that one, but that's okay. I don't think it'll matter in the end. I want to be as neat as I can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. We do want to make sure that all the UV resin is covered in bubbles though. Okay, so now without wasting any time, I'm going to grab my UV light and I'm going to start setting this resin. And the light does get through the bubbles. All right, now my resin says curing time is two to four minutes, so I did three minutes in each spot. Now I'm just going to gently wipe away the tops of the suds here, because as the suds um, pop, they're going to turn back into water, and I don't want any more water on there than necessary. I'm not actually going all the way down to the resin because the resin is now floating in the mold cavities and I don't want to dislodge the resin. Now I'm going to give it several hours to dry because I want the moisture from the bubbles to completely dry 
and dry where they've gotten underneath the resin. Once we start doing our next step, we'll be pushing them around a little bit and I don't want any movement. So that's it for now. And I'm probably gonna give it a good six hours to dry as much as possible. And it's fairly warm in this room. It's about 70 degrees. Well, hi guys. I ended up leaving these sit for 24 hours because when I would tap them like this, there was just a ton of moisture under there and a lot of movement. The two over here still have some squishiness, like movement underneath of them, and I'm really hoping that the resin doesn't get under there between the UV resin and the mold. We don't want that to happen. When that happens, we end up with this, this modeling effect, or even worse, it'll look all broken like this. So we don't want that extra layer of resin leaking down there. So that's why I've let it dry so long. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bottles of mica, just regular mica powder, and my little brush that I've used on so many projects, and I'm just going to brush mica on these. And you can do it in any color or combination that you want. I think the darker colors are going to show up a little bit better. They will be a better background for the bubbles. And the bubbles from the dish soap are just really catching that mica. Then I wipe off the excess on a dish towel before I go to another color. Oh, you know what? I totally spaced on a step here, but I think we can still do it. Let me set all this aside. So before we brush the mica on, I meant to flip this over and put the UV light on the UV resin from this side. Even though this isn't a clear mold, I think it will still help set the resin. Okay, I didn't do that for super long, about a minute and a half. I hate it when I get things out of order, but I think that's still going to be just fine. And you can do these a totally solid color, or we can play around with the colors. Mix them up and blend them. But I don't know about that one. I got a lot of black in there. But we'll just have to wait and see. I've got mica everywhere. So now we're just going to mix up some two-part resin and add some white alcohol ink and pour our backing on these and then we'll be done. I've just mixed up, I think it's 20 cc's for these. It's not going to take much.
Well, that looks good for now. And uh, I don't, oh, well, I guess I do have a couple bubbles to pop. So until my lighters come in from Amazon, I'm just going to have to hit them with the torch. There we go. I've been lucky. So far I have not ruined a mold with the torch, but I've been super careful. Boy, 20 cc's was the exact right amount. Next time I think I'll mix a little more just to be on the safe side. Okay, so I will see y'all tomorrow when these will be cured and ready to demold. Bye-bye for now. Okay, well these have been sitting for about 24 hours. Fingers crossed that these turned out better than my first batch. And that one did not. The resin got down underneath of that one. But that's one of the ones I was kind of concerned about. And this was the other one that I was concerned about. So let's see how it did. Same thing on it. The poured resin got underneath the UV resin. So those are icky. I was concerned about those though. They didn't seem like they were attached really well to the mold. So hopefully these turned out better. And they did. I love that effect. The bubbles created by the dish soap and the mica. That's very pretty. And this one turned out really pretty too. The, the finish on it isn't super smooth. But it's very pretty. And I had put a little black on the edge here. Just so that it wasn't the same color throughout. I really like that one. There's a touch of stickiness to the UV resin on some of these. So now that they're out of the mold, I would probably just put them under the UV light again for just a minute, just to finish curing that UV resin. That one turned out really good. I had three different colors of mica in there. I really like that one. That's very pretty. Oops. <laughs> and this is the last one. Oh, that one really has some good sized bubbles in it. I really like that. So this is a pretty cool effect that we can do. I would say overall they're a success. I didn't really expect these first two to turn out. I could just tell by the way they were sitting in the mold. But I really like the rest of these. And in my first attempt, oop, gotta finish off that resin. In my first attempt, it only really looked good in the darker colors, but in these it looks good in the lighter colors as well. I am really pleased with the way these four turned out. I really like the colors uh, mixed together and the way they gradiated together in there. And I think to avoid this happening next time, I would put less bubbles on top of the UV resin so that I don't get as much moisture under the UV resin. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming projects, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye for now.